Well, hello. Thanks again for tuning in with me today. This is Bubba, the Jewish redneck prepper. Today, I'd like to talk with you about wild edibles and everything. And what it is, it's called the wild strawberry. That's right, folks, the wild strawberry. People just don't know about such things as this. And God's blessed me with the knowledge of wild edibles. And I'm here today to share this knowledge with you. And I hope that you will take it and do something with it and let it bless your life as it has blessed me and my family. This wild strawberry has a cousin that people buy in grocery stores and everything. To my understanding, if you could pick wild strawberries, why buy them and everything and such? Well, folks, today I just found two wild strawberries. That's right, folks. It is the cousin to the strawberry that you would find in the store. Now, I promise you, this right here, it gets maybe just a little bit bigger, but not much bigger. And these wild strawberries are just like the strawberries you would get in the store and everything. You could get enough of these. You can make strawberry ice cream. You can make strawberry cobbler strawberry pie, anything you like, a strawberry smoothie, and everything like that, just out of wild strawberries. And folks, look at that strawberry. It's just a little midge <laughs> of strawberries. But, mm -mm. Oh boy, that is good. Yes, sir, that is good. Let's see if we can find another one right here. I swore I've seen another one. Okay. Usually where there's one, there's there's gonna be more than one. But I'm like this. Let me also tell you, folks. If you uh, out looking for wild edibles and everything, just because they're there, don't mean that you have to take every one of them. Cause these these fruit right here that are growing, they're seedlings, and they spread out. There's always good to get a few, a handful, and make whatever you need to out. But leave some rest for somebody else or for it to reseed so it could come back again next year and everything. I'm all, I believe in conservation even when it comes to wild edibles and everything. And see, folks, there it goes. Another wild strawberry and everything. Mm-mm. Boy, that's good. Folks, God has given us so much bountiful goodness in nature and everything. Wild edibles. So many trees out there that we can use for different sources. I have a question for you. If you had to, by choice, run into the world woods where you at, wherever you're located at here in the United States, could you survive with just a knife and everything? Folks, this is what I have with my videos that I hope that I can help you with. I'm not a total expert, but I'm not a novice either. I hope these videos will educate people and you can learn something by it and everything. Well, my friends and my loved ones, until the next time, let me tell you, please, I beg you, enjoy the journey because life is a journey and you have the ultimate experience by living it. Until the next time, shalom. God bless.